Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Um, this video is going to be a little different because today we're going to be talking about my plants and the plants that I just am really loving at the moment right now. So my first plant that I've really just been loving right now is my Begonia Maculata. Uh, oh gosh, okay. <laughs> because as you can see, it's massive and when I first got it, it was like this tall <laughs> it was just a couple of leaves it was like three or four leaves over here but as you can see it's really taken off and i love like the i love the dots because they just they're so striking and like the back of the leaves are very red and i really just like the growth pattern because you can like stake it up and kind of make it look like a tree kind of so my next plant that I've really just been loving lately is my Hoya Mathilde, or Mathilde. I always want to call it Hoya Mathilde, but I know that's not right. Um, here it is. Why are you focusing on me? Stop it. There we go. The reason I really like this one is because it did just flower for me. They f fell off, of course, but it, it. I've only had this for like less than a year and I already got it to flower which I only have a few Hoya in my collection and I haven't got any of them to flower. So the fact that this one flowered within a year of me having it and look at how small it is, like, I think that's pretty impressive. I also just really like how small the leaves are and how they're kind of splashy. I just, I don't know, I really like it. They're small and cute. It's actually one of my favorite Hoyas right now too that I have mostly because my other ones aren't really doing anything. My next plant that I'm really loving right now is my... I oh, almost said Hoya, guys, what? Philodendron Billetier, or Billetai, whatever, however you want to call it, I'm not sure. Um, but it's like constantly growing. Like it's got a new leaf right here coming in. And just like the way that it's shaped, it's so different and like the orange petioles. I don't know, it's not like a normal philodendron, it's one of those long boys. When it grows, it gets massive, and I am determined to get it to that size. And I also have only had this one for like, maybe a year? Maybe? I think I got it, I don't know, maybe like nine, ten months ago, but it's already put out so many leaves. I think when I got it, this leaf was on it, this leaf was on it. Uh, this leaf was here and this leaf. So it's put out all these leaves it's Just since I've had it in like 10 months these things grow fast uh, The next plant that I've been loving is actually an anthurium Which might be kind of surprising because they have like a reputation of <laughs> being kind of difficult and little brats But this is my crystallinum which uh, has one leaf that I accidentally uh, caught on my greenhouse when I was taking it out when this one was hardening off. And this is a new leaf currently working on hardening off. Like, look at them. They're so pretty. But yeah, the reason that I really like these plants, it, this plant specifically I should say, is just because, I don't know, it's shiny. Let's see if we can show you. Like you can see the shine from the sun in the middle look at those veins that's insane and when they grow in they're like burgundy which is gorgeous <laughs> like look at that and they're pretty big too like oh wait what is it head comparison here we go see like this one's still hardening off too so it's probably gonna get even bigger this one also, when I got it, it was a rehab because it was, it was an import from Indonesia and it was just like covered in, the roots, the root ball was covered in like, it looked like tire, <laughs> like tires, rubber wrapped around it. I have no idea. I couldn't peel it off. I peeled off as much as I could, scraped as much off as I could, but I just like threw it in a pot. Hey. Yeah. So when I got this plant, it was. It wasn't in the best shape and I think it only had like this leaf on it and this leaf 
and surprisingly they're still on the plant so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that but I'm just really loving the, this plant right now. I kind of lost kind of lost interest in it when I first got it because I was a little disappointed with how it looked but I don't know it's it's really growing on me. Um, the next plant that I'm really loving is I don't know I I debated on showing it because I know there's like a lot of uh, talk in the plant community about people only getting certain plants because they're popular or because they're expensive to say that they have them but I really wanted this plant for a long time and I actually waited until I found a good deal on it because I wanted it so bad and I'm just I'm really glad that I did wait and I'm glad that I have it now so this one is my uh, variegated Monstera Addisonii. When I got it, it was like so tiny. I'll put a picture in, put a picture in right here. But when I first got it, it was so small. It was like one or two leaves, I think. I only got it like six or seven months ago. And look at her doing the most. Like, come on now. Don't hurt them. Like, look at this. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It just really does it for me. I really like the normal Addisonia as well, so I knew I would like the variegated one just as much, if not a little bit more. Clearly because it's in this video and the normal Addisonia is not, but I, I don't know. It just, <laughs> it's really pretty. I just really like it and I'm gonna put it on a moss pole and have it grow up and hopefully that I can get like those really big leaves and the variegation on it is like pretty ideal too because it's not too much white but it's also not too much green it's pretty pretty level pretty even so I don't have to worry about it reverting or going too like white and then dying off but I don't have this in a greenhouse I have it in like ambient humidity and it has a grow light like a foot away from it but the the humidity is only like 30 to 40 percent and it's still growing pretty well and the the variegation on it has not died off, which I have heard that a lot of people have that issue with variegation on plants is like the white or yellow parts will die off. And luckily I have not had that problem yet with this plant and hopefully it, hopefully it keeps that up. Oh my God, and I almost just spilled it. Oh, I'm a mess. Okay, so my next plant that I have is actually the newest plant in my collection. I think I only got it about a month ago. Hello. You want to tell them what this plant is? <laughs> you want to tell them? No? <gasps> Dogs. No personal, no sense of like personal space. No spatial awareness. He just will like throw his head on the ground when he lays down. Like he doesn't know how far up his head is or something. I don't know. But anyways, uh, this plant is my Caladium, uh, Lindii, I think it's Lindii, I'm not sure. I'll put the name on the screen of all of the plants, but this is my newest one that I actually got. It's still kind of in quarantine right now. I'm still keeping it away from all my other plants, but just like, I've wanted this plant for a couple of years at this point, just because like, look at those leaves. Don't look at this leaf. No, it's fine. This is real life. We're seeing the we're seeing how plants live there's nothing wrong with that it does have a new leaf coming out that kind of looked a little funky because I'm I think it had spider mites and I did treat it but it's coming around still I just like this one because it's one of those long boys as well and if you haven't caught on I love the striking veination of plants like there's just something about that contrast of like green or dark green and then like light white, yellow, I don't know. It's just magnificent. I actually just watered this next one, so it's kind of droopy. It's my uh, Monstera Peru. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show because it wants to go like everywhere, but yeah, here we go. I don't know, I just like how, I like the texture of the leaves. Like it's kind of like reptilian almost, and it's like, I don't know like 
you probably can't hear that, but it's kind of like cardboardy. It's kind of like that one, that cardboard stuff that they put in between two sheets of cardboard and like, like make it look like fake wood. I don't know. That's kind of like what the, these leaves remind me of. And I just love how like dark they are. Like in comparison to other leaves, they're pretty dark. They're like a, they're like a foresty green. Oh, and it's dripping on me. They're like a foresty green and it's, I don't know, it's a nice, a nice color to the collection. The color is just like a nice breakup for the, uh, all the green in the collection. You know, it's super dark. My next plant is actually my first expensive plant that I ever bought and it was, uh, like two years ago and I, I have been constantly having problems with it because it would give me like one leaf a year if I was lucky but I repotted it bigger and I put a slow release fertilizer in it and now it's actually giving me two leaves in the span of a month and a half so uh <laughs> yeah here it's my uh, Monstera Thai constellation she a big one and I haven't had problems with oh gosh I don't know how to do this one okay let's see I haven't had problems <laughs> with it rotting like some people seem to because I think I caught it before the like mass tissue culture <laughs> production of it and so I think I don't know I'm not like a botanist or anything but I'm guessing that I just got like a stronger specific plant or like maybe before the genes were like so <laughs> I don't know so tissue cultured I don't know sometimes tissue cultured plants can be weaker sometimes they can be stronger and I feel like the Thai constellation just by how many people have been having problems with root rot online I'm seeing I'm guessing that it was one that kind of got weaker as they tissue cultured it more but I think I got one right before that happened and I'm really happy that I did because I really love this plant and the leaves are growing pretty big like look at this leaf this leaf head comparison yeah see head comparison compared to the new leaf it's so much bigger and this is only two leaves later I don't know if it was the repotting it or the slow re release fertilizer or if it just is maturing now because I have it and I usually have it in front of this window and this is a south facing window with like a big tree outside shading it a little bit so it's still strong light but it's also shaded at sometimes but it's been there for like two years anyways so I'm guessing it's the pot and the fertilizer <laughs> mixed together and I'm just I'm just so happy that it's finally like is getting it together thank you all right my last plant is one that you guys might be like oh that's kind of basic but you know what my favorite plant my all-time favorite plant is a golden pothos so I'm not even afraid to admit that I like basic plants and uh I mean it's kind of like in the same ballpark because they're both epipremnum but this is my enjoy I've had it, it doesn't grow very fast because of all of the white variegation but I still love it and I like this like bushy look that it has and it also shortly after I got it it battled the most severe spider mites <laughs> that I have ever had and I'm kind of surprised that it made it but that's probably why it's not so big as it would be normally because I've had this for like two years now two and a half years something like that actually maybe even longer maybe like three years but that battle with the spider mites went on for a good couple months like they were persistent and they would not go away but I have them gone now so it's fine because that was that was a while ago and it's actually starting to trail which I'm happy about it's starting to trail now a little bit hopefully it'll grow out of the pot and start hanging but either way I still really like it at this at this stage I like the bushy look the the, the like contrast it's beautiful I love it I can't wait till it's really long and vining because I've seen some people's 
like some people that I know have these and they're just huge. They're in like 10 inch pots. They're hanging down. They're like as tall as the person and the person's like five, six or something like that. And gorgeous, gorgeous. I know you'll get there one day, little buddy. I believe in you. You're doing good. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of the video. Those are all my plants that I have been loving lately because of their growth that they're doing or just like how they look now or just whatever. They're just the plants that strike my fancy right now that I'm just really enjoying and hopefully I continue to enjoy them for a long time to come. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will have a part two that is kind of connected to this video in a way. So hopefully you'll stick around to my next video when that comes out. And hopefully you'll like that one, you'll like this video, subscribe if you want to. If you like random videos that have almost nothing to do with the next, the previous video or the next video. So thanks for watching you guys. Subscribe so you can see whenever I upload a video and hopefully you'll come back because I enjoy having you here and I hope you enjoy me being there with you and entertaining you. I will see you guys next time. Bye.